unfortunately, I've got a bit of sad news. Last night we had an unwelcome visitor to the um, bird's nest on the veranda that we've been watching. There's the bird nest on the veranda that we did a video of a few days ago with the baby swallows. There was a carpet snake, a python, up there last night and it actually ate the parents. So we've got four orphan chicks now. But I've found someone in the local area who is a wildlife rescuer and she's gonna she's got a lot more experience with birds than I have. So she's gonna take the chicks for us and feed them, look after them and try and get them because they're actually not too far offline by the look of them. They've, they've all got feathers. I've already taken them out the nest. Um, that was the middle of the night last night when the python was up there. So sadly, the, the both parents are gone and I've also got the, the snake that I have to relocate now. So I've got the python in a bin ready to relocate. Um, I mean, it, it's really sad and it's terrible that we've lost the chicks, but snakes got to eat too. He was just doing what they do. Um, so I've got him to relocate. I can look after him, no worries, but this woman is much more experienced with birds. So I'm gonna take the chicks to her. We've got them wrapped up all snug in a tea towel. And um, I'll give you a look at the, the chicks now before I take them and might have a look at this snake too that upset the whole system. Okay, he's inside this bin. Yeah, so the snake's all curled up in the bottom there. You can see him down there. He's all coiled up, but I think he's about four foot long. He'd be at least four foot, I reckon. Um, so I have to release him. It's a nice looking python, though. That's what we call a carpet snake here. We'll have a better look at that snake when I release it, but for now I've got to take care of the chicks. They've got to get to this woman and get their first feed from um, a syringe or an eyedropper, I take it, instead of their mum and dad for a change. So that's going to be a bit of a shock and an upset for them, but hopefully they're old enough now to make it. Let's have a look at them. This is the beautiful little chicks that we took the video of a few days ago. I've got them all wrapped up to keep them warm. Um, yeah, them poor little buggers haven't got a mum and dad now, but hopefully they can get raised by this woman and at least the chicks will survive. So I would like to have found the, the nest in time for at least one of the parents to be saved, but at least I got there in time for the chicks to be saved. And we'll take these chicks now before it gets any later. It's bright and early in the morning here. As I said, that happened through the night. Um, so. Yeah, it's really early now and I've already rang and she said bring them around so I've got to make a trip to the next little town. It's about 20 minutes away. So I'll take them and then I'll come back and I'll look after the snake then. Alright, thanks everyone. I'll catch you soon.